episode 33 of Anime and Us. I'm TJ. And I'm Sean. And this is the Review Fit Show that reviews anime from A to Z. Sort of. Alright guys, so last episode, uh, we spun the wheel for Category B and we got Blade 2012. I didn't know this, I just found out because I was reading up on the wiki. That's the fourth installment of the series. Yeah, I was going to talk about that. That being said, we both know a little bit about Blade and its history. We've seen the movies, um, I believe you read some of the comics. So it really wasn't an issue uh, in that sense. It also wasn't an issue in a sense that the story's really good. There's a beginning, a middle, and an end. Really didn't need to know anything in the beginning because they explain that he's a daywalker. They explain his backstory in this season. Yeah, it's it was. You could just jump right into this. You don't need to know yes. the other ones. Like I think it's Iron Man, X Men, and Wolverine. Yeah, they're all in the same universe, which yes. is really cool. But they really have nothing to do with each other essentially, for, except for, for little, the most part. Little yeah, there's a couple little there. things. Now, if you watch the art style of it, it definitely has the feeling. And TJ brought this up, but when we watched a few episodes together of the '90s. Uh, cartoon, Saturday yeah. morning, not anime, uh, American style. Yes. That being said, reading on the wiki, uh, it was made in Japan, and it was made by Japanese people. It was made, um, the story's written by Kenta Fukasuku, <laughs> son of the late Kinji, I'm not going to say his last name again, Jamie Simone served as casting director, and it aired um, in on Animax in Japan in uh, July 1st, 2011, and eventually came over to America. All right. So, yeah, apparently this was part of an initiative of anime. They uh, they bought, like, some of the Marvel comics and they adapted yeah. a lot of them. It was good. It. It, it was, they did a good job. It was decent, yeah, because there was consequences. Yeah. And yeah. that's the way... Make your decisions, then you gotta deal with it. Yeah, like, there, it was... It got to a point where it felt like an anime. Yo, yeah, for sure. I mean, because people die in it and stuff like but that. But it just had that American... Sorry about that. My dog just shook. Yeah. Um... It just had that American feel to it that wasn't hollow. A lot of anime feels hollow. It's not too deep. Yeah, I mean... This had more than that. And there was there was a couple good parts, really good parts in it. Um, the ending, that last fight in the, yeah. the Monster City was really good. Yeah, it was cool. Where there were just giant monsters all over everywhere. Mm-hmm. And then halfway through the season, Wolverine just shows up out of Yeah, that was weird, but cool. Yeah, so that was neat to see. Because I, I didn't know going into it that it was part of a bigger world, so just seeing Wolverine come in. I had seen, I hadn't seen it, like, watch it, but I, I knew that there was an Iron Man version, like, sort of similar to this. I knew that there was a Wolverine uh, season sort of similar to this. I didn't know they were in the same world, though. So right. So that was cool. Yeah, but... Honestly, it's not, it felt rushed at points. Uh definitely felt rushed. Because it's only... Especially towards the end, you went just from hunting vampires and going after uh, Frost to, oh my god, world-ending stuff. Shit's going crazy in the last couple episodes. Uh, but it was cool. It was it was cool. I mean, it followed more of the movies yeah. than anything else. I mean, I don't... My mem- memory of the actual comics are a little vague, so I can't really judge how it would be in the comics, but I don't think... I think the movies really took over the mythology of Blade, so yeah. I think it follows along those lines. I really liked uh, the guy that helped him. I forget his name. The old white guy. Oh, the Van Helsing. Yeah, yeah, he was cool. Yeah. I liked him a lot. I mean, he wasn't actually Van Helsing. He's a descendant of Van Helsing or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. There's always a descendant of Van Helsing. Yeah, when you deal with vampires. Yeah, there's there's always something to do with that. So, <laughs> But apparently there's no more because he didn't have a kid or anything. I, I thought he would have had some sort of kid he was training, but I, I sort of turned into Blade. Yeah, Blade's kind of the mm-hmm. new Van Helsing. Well, that he's always kind of been the Marvel Universe's yeah. Van Helsing anyway. And then there's a, there's a female companion that he gets in the beginning. Which was cool and interesting, and she was out throughout the show. Um, but the tropes for her were a bit much. They were a bit much, but she her father gets killed by vampires, and Blade kills the vampire, so she hates Blade. Like, instantly. <laughs> he's like, alright, time to die. <laughs> so, they, so she hates him at first, then she starts to fall for him, and then... Well, yeah, I mean, that was kind of the yeah, trope. There was, there was a trope, but... But it's, it wasn't so bad. It wasn't so blaring. It just was, oh, okay, that's But she wasn't, at the, she wasn't at the end of something to distract. No, she could fight. In the end, she came in, she saved Blade. She ended up dying, which was also really... Yeah, I, I honestly didn't expect that. Well, Either I thought they were going to, like, just go the separate ways. Um, I didn't think they would get together. No. Um, did, but I didn't really expect her to die. Blade doesn't really end up very much with love interest. So. <laughs> I can see why. Uh, so, I mean, but yeah, her dying was actually a powerful scene in this, which was... Something that was interesting was the different kinds of vampires, like the water vampires and the tiger and the yeah. flying ones, and their, how grotesque they are and everything. That was interesting. But they weren't actual vampires. They were, like, mutated, mutated, yeah. mutated into those things. Honestly, though, it was good, but it is the most, as as for judging anime standard, the most average anime. 
Yeah, I, yeah, it was, it, was, it was average. It sure. was pure. It was middle of the ground. If it wasn't Blade, something that we know and like, it would have. I wouldn't have had as much interest. In right? Yeah, and if it was just some guy with a sword, yeah, going doing the exact same stuff, set. just not Blade. Yeah, it, it would have been a it, lower quality. We do have a bias because of Blade, and I'm a big superhero guy. Oh, so. for sure. Yeah, same here. So uh, watching. Going in and seeing Blade and Wolverine and stuff and just... And knowing the history behind the characters. Mm-hmm. Usually when we tackle one of these animes, we know nothing about these characters. So we have no history. We're just judging them based on what we mm-hmm. see. Well, this one, where there's like... How long ago did Blade come out? <laughs> the movie? Yeah. 1999, 2000, yes. something like that. So it's been... Oh, and we were young then. You know what I mean? We're in our 30s now. But that was yeah. us like just getting into TV and movies. Yeah. And so we grew up with and Blade and stuff like that. Like, there's Blade in the... Um, Blade was in the animated Spider-Man cartoon in yeah. the early '90s, so we grew up with it. So we know we have experience with it, and we're able, and we have that nostalgic going into it that kind of skews us, skews us towards liking it. And not that it's bad. Like I said, it's completely average, objectively. But it was interesting. I mean, it was a little lame at points, but yeah. What else? <laughs> <laughs> we're only a few minutes in. I know. That's what I was afraid of because I know I didn't have a lot to say about this one. I guess, really, the only other thing we can really talk about is that he has, like, this master. Yeah, yeah, he had his, a sword master and um, a fellow student. Right, right, Forget right. Forget the guy's name, but he was some Japanese student know, that was... has a healing factor, like Wolverine, which was interesting. Yeah, that was interesting, but he is the most anime character in the oh, show. Oh, for sure. So, that if, that's the most, that's the anime trope in this, really. <laughs> there, everything else is very... I wear a kimono at all times. Yeah, this is... <laughs> what, dude? It's 2012 in the anime. What are you doing? Everything else is very Americanized, so this this anime character, he doesn't fit in the show. Oh, you know what we also didn't talk about? was uh, This is with the sword uh, master and all that, was the sword style 1, 2, and 3 techniques. Oh, God. That was god-awful. At the Every time he kills a vampire, he uses one of the three special techniques. Hidden sword technique or something like and that. And he says, number it, one. And it's like a fatality. <laughs> Every single time. <laughs> it is so bad. Well, not any vampire or every vampire, but any of the boss vampires yeah. in the episode. So, Anytime he's forced to use his oh, special man. powers, he's it, it cuts to like, it's almost like Sailor Moon. With yeah, a trans- yeah very, it is very anime-esque. With, with a transforming into something else. It's like, uh, that's, <laughs> that's what that was like. Oh, the, it was cool to watch it happen. It was just after he killed him, it wasn't interesting. So when he goes to kill them, he sort of holds his sword up and drops it down while holding it, spins it around, and you see, like, a, a line on the point of the blade mm-hmm. in a circle. And it looks cool, and it's interesting, but then after he kills him, he, like, it's a transmission behind him, and he's like, hidden sword to number one. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was more, that the first one is him being, it's an illusion, essentially, yeah. so they cut through the illusion and nothing happens. The problem is, it happens in every single oh, episode. There's yeah, 20... whatever the big bad guy is in that episode, he does it. The good thing about the show is, is it's only 12 episodes. Yeah, it's not long. Um, so whatever blaring issues it has wasn't too upsetting yeah, as I, it be- ended soon. Because we, it was just like in and out, really, with everything. And If that had gone on for 12 more episodes, oh man. <laughs> I don't, I don't have a whole know. lot more to say uh, about it. Yeah, I don't think, I think it, they would have had to really bring in the story and really flesh everything out because, mm-hmm. I mean, it was it was pretty decent as is, but I don't know if I would have been able to sit through another 12, what, 14 episodes? Oh, yeah, that would be, uh, God, awful. I couldn't do it. Um, so he's, uh, his rival at the uh, sword master yeah. place where they're training, um, sort of, he definitely becomes his rival lifelong and wants to fight him lifelong. Mm-hmm. Um, and Blade isn't as good as him. No. He's not quite as good as him. Not by much, but just by a little bit. Now, I think Blade has, obviously, speed and strength over him because he's part vampire. But, you know, the other guy's got a healing factor. And they it's funny, they actually say healing factor. Right. Um, so they definitely well, see, acknowledge the fact that he's, he's like Wolverine. For some reason, Wolverine is always tied to Japanese lore. And, yeah, and which is com- odd. I'm never going to Comics, why. because... I mean, he does spend time in Japan in the comics, and I well, think... Well, he did that in the one movie, too. Well, yeah, but that, the, those movies suck. <laughs> so. Some of them are okay. <laughs> Though anything titled Wolverine, if yeah. it's not Logan, sucked. Origins was okay. No, it wasn't. That it was, was, right. that was, was terrible. Anyway, back to Blade. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> back to Blade. But it's, for some reason, they like to tie... Wolverine to Japan, which which is why I think they kind of went with the Japanese. Well, plus it's made in Japan, it's an anime mm. thing like that to tie. But what they feel and factor and stuff. 
which is odd because Wolverine originated in Canada. Yeah, yeah. He's part, he was part of the Canadian Weapon X program. So I never understood why they always keep... They yeah, keep as far as I know, Canada and Japan don't really cross over through history I mean, I, I know he does spend time in Japan, but it seems to be a lot of the focus storyline-wise for him there. Never so much in Canada that I've seen, but I could be wrong. I haven't read all the Wolverine comics. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, so he's got a, his rival partner. He, he really wants to know who's better. Yeah, the he rival really knows. wants to know. That, like, Blade that's doesn't really give a shit. Him for the most part. Yeah, Blade doesn't give a damn. Um, there's a point where Blade leaves because, you know, he's getting older and he needs to go back to fighting vampires. He has a mission. He has to get Frost. Because Frost, you know, killed his mother. And right as he leaves, his rival is like, no, let's find out now. And they go to fight and Blade cuts his Achilles tendon. It eventually heals back, but uh, he sort of won that bout. Yeah. I, I, I just, You said Achilles and tendon. He, and I just watched something that literally someone cuts on his Achilles tendon. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to watch for I'm, sure. I don't remember what, what, what I just watched. Uh. But Blade pretty much says, you know, the difference between us is that I don't need to know who's better. So that that, that was interesting. And then uh, he comes back probably about halfway through the show and he's fighting Blade and, you know, they got the rivalry back and then they split up. But what was interesting is towards the end, they pair up and help out. Yeah, they become friends essentially. Yeah, which is weird. Yeah, didn't really well, expect that. There wasn't really any resolution between the rival rivalry. Because um, the master gets turned into a vampire. Yeah, and then they have to kill him. So they have to kill him, and then Frost betrays the rival. And that's where they find out the third hidden technique. Yeah. <laughs> that they didn't learn yet. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, it was so bad. But the, but the rival um, was betrayed by Frost, so he was like, okay, we have a mutual Yeah, evidence. yeah. In the beginning, the rival was working for Frost. Yes. So that's that's where that comes from, because the rival was a, is an assassin, apparently. Yeah. yeah. It's just weird, especially with that, that kimono outfit. and the, uh, It's just odd. Why? It's, it's 2012. What are you doing? It's Japanese, it's a pants but it's Japanese 2012, pants, which means still... it's which means it's like 1963. Or <laughs> Apparently, so <laughs> recovered from uh, the bombs. <laughs> that maybe that's where he got a ceiling factor from. Who knows? I suppose. <laughs> but there was, a, was there was something else I just recently watched that. Oh, you know what Legends of Tomorrow is? Oh, the DC, the DC. Thing? Yeah, it's on Netflix. They just did. They just went back and they their time travels essentially. Yeah, it's it's a really bad show. I like it. It's terrible. And no, I like it. I think it's the best super superhero show on oh, TV. It's, it's god awful. No, it's not. The acting's terrible. The budget for the special effects is so bad. It's so low. When's the last time you watched it? I watched a couple episodes of the first season. That's that was your problem. <sighs> That's my problem. The and the opening episodes that are supposed to tell you what the show's yeah, supposed no. to be about were terrible. The first, it's my problem that I the first the season was pretty bad. It's it's gotten. Really I get that a lot from a lot of different people yeah. that the first season's bad, but you got to stick through it for the rest of it. I'm like, but the first season no, tells I'm, you what the show's about. No, I got you. I understand that you. you I don't, and no one should expect anybody to watch something if the first couple episodes aren't good. But there's a couple of shows that I watched that the first season's just terrible. Like Agents of I Shield, know. Agents of Shield. It's is another one. one. I watched the first few episodes, couldn't get through it because it's so bad, and they they <laughs> were bad, but they've really really gotten a lot better with it. But anyway, Legends tomorrow in a recent episode, they go back in time, and there's because they released magical monsters on, and now magical monsters are all throughout the time stream, so they have to go and kind of stop these magical monsters mm -hmm. and one of them there is there's this giant kraken back in japan and so they go back and it comes out it's not the kraken's not real it's this book that creates that someone a creative minds do it the creator of godzilla created this kraken essentially and and then they go back through this whole story of why he imagined he just went through Hiroshima and the bombs are dropped in, and that's so he created this monster to, to justify the mm. destruction of the world and stuff like that. And it was it just, it just clicked because you said the Achilles tendon. No, 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 you clicked because you said the bombs are dropping. Oh, oh so I was like, oh, uh, so that's where that it was. And then at the end, they were like, oh, you shouldn't stick with cracking, you know. Lizards, King of Lizards. Uh, <laughs> so they've been doing a lot of that, which is pretty cool. The Kelly Tenants was actually the most recent episode of Arrow, which Oliver Queen, the Green Arrow, slits someone's Achilles tendon oh. because he's there's a big he's he's in jail right now for being the Green Arrow. And then there's this giant riot, and these two criminals that he put away are, are beating him up, and he slices one of their Achilles tendons. Says you got about six minutes, or you're gonna bleed out, and so he can't. No, you wouldn't. 
Yeah, no, but still, it's a TV show. <laughs> so you're gonna Arrow's bleed out. Terrible too. You gotta you gotta bleed out. So you better leave me yeah, alone. Yeah, yeah, you go go get yourself that stuff. Yeah, so that's what that one was. Arrow. It depends on what season. I better. liked the first season a lot. Yeah, the first season, first and second season were good. I think I watched the second season. I can't remember. Either I started watching the second or it was the third, and I just stopped. Well, the it got third terrible. and fourth seasons were terrible. Maybe it was the third that I started watching because the, the fifth season was okay, but this this one the most recent one's actually really really good. So yep. far, yeah. And I just watch superhero shows. That's what I do. So. That's interesting. You know what's funny? Because nearly half this podcast was talking about other things than Blade. Uh, but Blade wasn't great in the sense that we had a lot to talk about it. And it wasn't terrible in the sense that we had a lot to talk about it. And I know we said that a couple times. But this is really right in the middle. But at the same time, Blade is a superhero. Yeah, and we like superheroes. And that sort of connects with other like, we, superheroes we didn't, go, we didn't go off a rail and started talking about things that are not superheroes. That's true. So. That's true. Oh, so yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna close up. Um, next episode is. Uh, hold on, we're, I'm giving it a five. Oh, right, we didn't do that. Um, for Blade, I would say seven, but for just purely um, anime, yeah, five. yeah, I, I would say five, five point five, maybe. So I mean, there. if you're uh, into Marvel comics and you're oh, into definitely Blade, oh yeah, yeah, that's probably a seven. It's worth your time. But if, if you're not, if you're just into anime, it's you could watch it because, yeah. like we said, there is a beginning, middle, end, and it explains its history. Yeah. You could watch it still, but it's just not. It's it's average. Yeah, like, you've got nothing else to watch. It's better than a lot of other things we reviewed. Yeah, yeah. like watch this instead of. Um, <laughs> Air, eight, 801 TTS Airbats. Watch this instead of uh, Juby Chan. Watch this instead of uh, Koikaze. Koikaze, definitely. Definitely watch this over a lot of things, for sure. Yeah, I mean, because this is actually one of the few ones that we got, like, just a pure middle of the road. Yeah, just right there. All right, yeah, so we're not going to spin a wheel for this one because we're going to actually go back to one that we did. Yes. We got. The Master of Ragnarok and the Blesser of, of Ironheart or something, something like that. that. Back in T. But there was only two episodes released of it at and the time. And they finally finished. And they finally finished. So we're going to do that next episode. And so instead of that, last time we did the Galaxy Rally, which we both regret it. Uh, yeah, so um, at the end of the next episode is when we will spin for C. Yes. All right. That's it for this one. That's it, guys. Have a good night. Yep. See ya.